Remember, stress, tension, and damage are the stimulus for nerve to muscle connections to change and for muscles to get bigger, stronger, and better. And so if you're getting into the ice bath after training or taking a really cold shower after doing resistance training, you are likely short-circuiting the improvements that you're trying to create. Now, athletes who are trying to recover quickly so that they can get back into more training sessions, or let's say you're somebody who doesn't really want to gain much strength or hypertrophy, and you're mainly focused on endurance and you want to do more endurance work and you've been weight training, well, then exposing yourself to cold can be beneficial, but you're not going to get as great of benefits from the resistance training. In other words, cold after resistance training seems to short circuit some of the benefits of that resistance training. I believe it was in scientific reports, yes, that showed that antihistamines can prevent some of the benefits of cardiovascular exercise of endurance type work, so running, swimming, of fairly long duration or even sprint type work, as well as inhibit some of the processes associated with resistance training. 